Welcome to the second part of the front end users plugin tutorial. This portion will show you how to customize your plugin once you've completed the basic setup which we explained in the first part. Once you've inserted the shortcodes, there are a number of important attributes you can add to really begin customizing the plugin for your own website. For the login shortcode, you can use the redirect page to automatically redirect users after a successful login. The same option is available with the register shortcode. For the edit profile shortcode, the redirect page attribute is available as well as a new one, login page, which will present a link to users who are not logged in should they try to access the page. Last but not least, the account details shortcode has the same attributes available as the edit profile shortcode. Once you've got login, registration, logout, and profile forms set up, you're ready to start customizing content for your user base. The first shortcode we'll cover is restricted, which only allows content to be seen by logged in users, and which can be customized so that only a subset of users have access to some content. We'll start with the basic shortcode. By placing the restricted opening and closing tags around some content, that content will only be visible to logged in visitors, like so. Next, we can go further by customizing based on a profile field. For example, visitors whose province is set to Quebec on their profiles can be shown a short message explaining that the page is available in French. Any field from the user form can be used to customize a page's content. Another useful shortcode is the user data tag, which lets you insert a user's profile field into the page. For example, we could put in a message that says something like, special offer for our visitors from user data field name equals province which will appear like so on the page. It is a good idea to use this tag on restricted pages so that the content always makes sense. If you've got any other questions or suggestions, please visit the plugin support forum, which we've linked to in the video description, or send us an email at the address listed below.